Wow. Yeah, the statistics shows my ballistic flows in a rape pit cake. Not big can't those that spot yeah, teed them up. So red D, how to pack my clothes I'm so heavy with no D, how them boys I rock them gators more than good beat boys I'm the real raw deal, y'all just steal decoys Like them duck hunters running What's up YouTube, it's JP from Apple Droid Today I'm going to be showing you how to root your T-Mobile My Touch 3G on stock firmware 1.5 if you all have updated to Donut 1.6, um, I will be making a video on how to downgrade very soon. If you are already rooted, you'll be following that same video. Um, this is for stock 1.5, what the phone came with. If you ever updated your firmware, then you need to, you're going to have to follow that other video when I make it. Okay. Now, I'm not responsible for anything that happens to your phone. Okay. Now, there's a few files we need to go ahead and put on your SD card before we do anything. So, you're going to go ahead and mount your SD card. You're going to want to put your flash rec, your Haiku or SPL, and your recovery image, as I have done right there. I know you guys can't see that, sorry. But, as I said before, me and Apple Droid are not responsible for anything that happens to your phone that it's damaged. Okay, so what you're going to want to do... So you want to go to the market. First, you want to unmount your SD card. Okay, you're gonna to go to the market and search Linda and download Linda File Manager. Hit install. Okay. And that takes that installs relatively fast. Oops. And then you're going to go ahead and just click on that and go to SD card. Flash rec. If settings pops up, just go ahead and check unknown sources and then hit back. Flash rec. Sorry guys, if you didn't see that flash rec. And then hit install down at the bottom. And you want to hit open. So first things first, you want to click up, click. Back recovery image, backup recovery image. Then you're going to want to type this dash SD card dash, and there will be a little annotation here recovery hyphen capital R capital A hyphen sphere hyphen V one point five point two capital G dot I M G and then you're going to want to hit done. And if it doesn't say flash recovery image, make sure there's no space behind the IMG. Make sure everything's spelled right. And then just hit flash recovery image. Once you've flashed your recovery image, go ahead and reboot your phone. Let me see if I can study this. Go ahead and reboot your phone by holding the send, menu, and end key all at the same time. And then quickly press the power and home key. And then you can go ahead and unplug it. Now what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to go to Wipe. Wipe Data Factory Reset. Press Home to confirm. Then you want to go hit Back and Flash Zip from SD Card. And you're going to want to say, Hey Cougar SPL. And then you're going to reboot via Home and Back. And it's rebooting. You should get the little HTC pop up. Then you should get the My Touch screen. And then you should get this. 
and you're done. Now what you want to do is you want to go to wipe again, wipe data factory reset, home to confirm. Then you're going to go to back and partition SD card. Partition SD card, home to confirm, set your swap size to 96, and your EXT size to 768 and then home to confirm and this takes a little while it'll be about three rows of dots Top one as a whole, or top one beginning row, second one being row, and then third one being half a row, or something like that. This is going to be a multiple part video, guys. Oh. Then you're going to go to SD, EXT2 to EXT3, home to confirm. This one will be about two and a half, same amount probably of rows. And then you're going to want to go to last SD, EXT3 to EXT4. I recommend you guys have at least a 4 gig class 6 SD card. I only have a 1 gig no class SD card. And I'm doing this and I should not be. You want to hit back and then you're going to want to go to U USB-MS toggle. Hit that and connect your phone to the computer. And then it'll pop up in your computer. And you're going to want to put the ROM that you are going to be flashing on there. Which, for if you're using the ROM, I put SuperD 1.4 Black. I might actually be able to put this in the whole phone part video. And then you're going to go ahead and unplug it. And then press home to disable. Then you're going to go to wipe. Wipe data factory reset, home to confirm. Then you're going to go to flash zip from SD card. Super D, or whatever ROM. And then home to confirm. Now, guys, I will be back with the second part of this video once it finishes flashing. Hey, guys, what's up? We're back. This is JP with Android Planet, or uh, Android Planet, Apple Droid, and we are done. That has fully flashed. What you're going to want to do is hit Reboot System now. Now, your device is fully rooted, Once and this does take, it will take about 10, it'll take about 5 to 10 minutes to boot your phone. But you are rooted, running a cooked ROM. You're gonna want to download the zip file from part one of this full, uh, one well, part one of this video. Unzip it, and that'll have all the stuff you need in it. Hold on a second, guys. I'm gonna try and. And you get this pretty cool boot up with this ROM. And guys, once it's booted up, basically what you're going to want to do is just sign in. Alright, this has been JP from Android, Apple, not Android, Apple Droid, signing off.